Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Abdurrahman Turkman from Afghanistan and in this video I am going to show you 3 ways to backup and restore your iPhone or iPad. With these 3 methods you can backup almost every bit of your data from your iOS device to your computer or to a USB flash drive. Yes, that's right, to a USB flash drive. So please watch this video till the end and I'll show you everything step by step. And if you find this video helpful by any means, then please share it with your friends. Come on guys, sharing is always free, it doesn't cost anything. So do share this video with your friends. That will be considered a big support from you guys. So with that being said, the intro. Our first method is using iTunes or iCloud to backup and restore your iOS devices. For this, you must install iTunes on your computer. Once you have installed that, open it up. Now connect your iOS device to computer with the USB cable. Now click on your phone icon over here and under the backup section, you have two options to backup your iOS device. First option is iCloud and the other one is this computer. So I'm just gonna go with second option because I want to backup my iPhone to my computer. After that, click on backup now. And it's gonna ask you whether you want to encrypt your backup or not. If you click on encrypt backups, then you have to enter a password. And whenever you are restoring your files back to your iPhone, you have to put that password. So I'm just gonna go and say do not encrypt. And now it's gonna start backing up my iPhone. Now this is gonna take time depending on how much files you have on your iPhone. Now the backup process is completed. As you can see here it says later backup was made today at this time. In order to restore those backup files back to your iPhone, just click on restore backup and it's gonna ask you to turn off find my iPhone option on your iPhone. In order to do that, go to your iPhone settings, tap on your profile name, then click on iClouds after that scroll down and there you should see an option by the name of find my iPhone which is currently on. All you need to do is turn this toggle off and now it's gonna ask you to put your Apple ID password, put your Apple ID password and just tap on turn off and after that restoring process will begin. Our next method is using a third party software to backup and restore your iOS devices. For that you will need to install a software called Dr. Phone Backup and Restore. Just go ahead, download and install the software into your computer. The software is also available for Mac users. Okay, now there are a lot of softwares that will allow you to backup and restore your iOS devices. I'm recommending the software because it's very easy to use, very flexible and with the software you can do a lot more things and I'll show you that later. So for now just go ahead, download and install the software, link will be in the description below. After that open it up. As you can see, this software is world's number one smartphone management software, especially designed for Android and iOS devices. With this software, you can do a lot more things, like you can recover any kind of deleted files from your Android and iOS devices. You can transfer files between your computer and your smartphones. You can also transfer files from one phone to another. You can also remove pattern or pin code from your Android and iOS devices without losing data. And one of my favorite feature of the software is backup and restore social media apps. With this option, you can backup and restore your WhatsApp messages. You can transfer WhatsApp messages from one phone to another. You can do a lot more cool stuff. The software is not free actually, you have to purchase it. But if you purchase the software, believe me, this software worth every penny of your money. So in order to backup and restore your iOS devices, just click on this backup and restore. After that, it's gonna ask you to connect your phone. So I'm just gonna connect my phone. Okay, now select the type of files that you want to backup and also select the place that you want to save the backup file. So after that, just click on backup and it's gonna start backing up your iPhone. Now this is gonna take a few minutes Okay, now the backup process is completed. If you want to see your backup history, then click on view backup history. And if you want to open the backup location, just click on open backup location. And it's going to show you the backup file. As you can see here, I have a lot of backup files, which I have done using the software. And now let me show you how you can extract these backup files 
to other phones like uh, let's say if you want to extract these backup files from iPhone to any other phone like Android or any other iPhone with the software you can do so in order to extract the files open up open the software again after that click on backup and restore now this time select restore and it's gonna list all the backup that you have made using the software so here's the latest backup so you can also view the backup files like you can view your contacts call history messages and your photos and all those stuffs itunes doesn't let you backup and restore your files selectively but the software does as you can see these are the photos that were inside the backup file in order to save these select the one that you want after that you have two options restore to device and export to pc my if i click on restore to device it's gonna ask me to connect my iphone which is disconnected right now in order to save it to your pc just select the place and click on recover and these files will be saved to your selected destination our last method is using an external hard drive to backup and restore your ios devices by external drive i mean using usb pen drives to backup and restore your ios devices in this video i'm going to show you how you can backup your iphone using these two gadgets these pen drives are made by sandisk and they are available in different sizes from 16 gigabytes all the way up to 256 gigabytes i will leave the link of these two in the description below make sure you check them out let's start with this one with wireless one let me show you how it works so this pen drive is called sandisk wireless stick and with this pen drive you can transfer files between three devices wirelessly it also works with android devices so this pen drive has wireless functionality in it in order to turn it on just press this power button over here and white led will show up it means it's turned on in order to use this pen drive it has to be charged you can charge this pen drive from your computer or from any mobile charger that has usb port on it in order to connect your phone to this usb pen drive you have to install an app on your ios device to install the app just open up app store and search for sandisk connect drive just install it into your ios device after that open it up now it's gonna ask you to connect your iphone to a wi-fi which is broadcasting by this pen drive go to your wi-fi and connect to this network by the name of send connect once it's connected first let me show you how you can backup your iphone after that i will show you how you can transfer files between these two devices in order to backup your iphone just tap on menu here's an option by the name of camera roll backup now you can choose what files you want to backup so in my case i'm gonna select all after that tap on backup now now it's gonna give you some confirmation just tap on ok and it's gonna start backing up your phone as you can see here is the backup process if you are backing up your files to this usb flash drive for the first time and then it might take a while because it's gonna backup all the files from your phone now let me show you how you can transfer files from this usb flash to iphone or from your iphone to this usb flash drive these are the files that are already stored inside this usb flash drive in order to save files to your iphone just select the ones that you want tap on select and select whatever files you want then tap on this upload icon then it's going to give you an option to save to your camera roll and the photos are saved so let's go to our photos folder and these are the files that were copied from this usb flash drive now let me show you how you can backup your iphone or ipad to this usb flash drive this flash drive is called sandisk iXpand. in order to connect this flash drive to your iphone you have to install the associated app to do that go to app store and search for sandisk iXpand drive this is the app i've already installed this app now connect this pen drive to your ios device And it's gonna ask you for the permission all you need to do is just tap on allow and it's gonna open up the app automatically so in order to backup your files just tap on backup and restore and it's gonna give you three options to backup and restore the first one is backup and restore your photos and the second one is backup social media what it does is if you check mark this option you can backup 
your Facebook files, Instagram files and Picasa files. And it will only backup photos and other things. And the next option is backup and restore your contacts and calendars, which is a great option. So choose whatever you want. In my case, I'm gonna select contacts because it's gonna take less time. If I choose photos, it's gonna take a lot of time. So I'm just gonna go and backup and restore my contacts. I'm gonna backup all my contacts, select all, backup contacts. And it's gonna start backing up my contacts. Okay, now the backup process is completed. Just tap on OK. And now you have backup of your contacts on this flash drive. Now you can copy those contacts or whatever you have backed up to your computer or you can also transfer those backup files to other phones. And I've already made separate videos about that. You can watch it by clicking on i button at the top right corner. So there you have it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to share this video with your friends. And if you want more videos like this then please subscribe to my channel with notification on. And I'll catch you on the next one. Have a wonderful day.